As I mentioned, one of the main goals of this section is to give you some more Swift coding practice. And you'll be doing this by adding some new features to your app, just like you would if you were developing apps of your own. This leads me to your next challenge. Your challenge is to modify Bullseye, so that when the player taps the Start Over button, the game should reset. Specifically, the score and round should reset to zero, and it should start a new round. While doing this, remember the rule of don't repeat yourself. You don't want any duplicated code in your project. All right, that's it. Now pause the video and good luck. Okay, as my first step, I want to write a new method to contain all of the logic to start the new game. So I'll create a new method starting with func, and it's going to be called start new game. Two parentheses, it does not take any parameters, open and close curly brace. Inside here, we'll do all the logic, which is just saying the score is now zero. The round is now zero. And we call start new round. Okay, now we need to hook up a button to call this method. So we could do something like this, where we make a new IB action func and call it start over. And we could just call start new game. But if you look at this, this method isn't really doing anything but calling this other method, so we might as well just make this one an IB action. And then we can hook the button directly to this rather than using this middleman at all. Now, both of the approaches I just showed you are valid. It's just a matter of preference. But a good rule of thumb is when you can have less lines of code, that's a good thing because it's less potential areas for bugs. Okay, now that we have this new method, we want to call it in view did load. Here we go. So right now we're currently starting a new round. We don't want duplicated code, so we're going to start a new game instead. Finally, we need to remember to hook up the new game button to call this method. So again, we do this by opening main.storyboard, select the button, and control drag from that to this yellow button, the view controller. You could also drag it over there, doesn't matter. And choose the IV action you just created, start new game. That's it. Now I'm going to test this out and build and run. Now I'll just advance the round and start over, and it resets the score back to zero. Great. 